Hey everybody, Val here. I, uh, I hope you're all doing well during this crazy COVID-19 quarantine. Hope you're all healthy and uh, keeping busy or not keeping busy, whatever you want to do. But I just thought um, it's been a while since I've um, talked to you, so I thought maybe now would be a good time to talk about um, you know being ready for um, things like this in the future. So um, one of the things you want to really do before um, any kind of virus quarantine hits is want to make sure that you have lots of supplies. Um, as we saw with the toilet paper rush, you know, you don't want that to be the moment you run out to the store to get everything. So one of the things you definitely want to have is a, a stocked pantry. And if you're lucky enough to have one like we are, a, um, a deep freezer with plenty of supplies in it um, that'll keep you going no matter how long this thing lasts. So let's take a look and see what we have um, here in the Burkitch freezer. So there we got a good old Frigidaire energy guide on the side there to let us know. So let's look inside and see what kind of stuff we have. You can see it's, a, it's we have it really nicely stocked with everything you need for a quarantine. Uh, for example, we have some, um, some beef sirloin steak burgers. I mean, everybody loves steak burgers. Um, and we, um, we've had these in here since um, October of 2012. So, um, you know, we like our meat aged, kind of like our wine. And, uh, you know, the, we found the longer you can age it, the better it tastes. So what else we have in here? We have some, um, we have some, uh, ooh, some ground pork. Um, and I don't see any date on that, so that's probably totally safe to eat. Um, we have oh, some more ground pork, um, in case we really have a hankering for some ground pork. And then we have in here... Ooh, it looks like, I mean, they're white, but they look like hamburgers. It has like a lot of, sort of a white coating. Uh, again, these must be um, a little bit older. What does it say? February 13th, hmm, 2017. So the, um, these ones aren't as old. We'll have to let those ones sit there for a little bit more. And then, of course, we have uh, a slice of cake from uh, my wedding, which was 17 years ago. So keeping that in there for my wife whenever she, we, we, whenever we run out of desserts. Uh, we also have some photo negatives in here um it's a great place to keep your photo negatives to keep them um from going bad i have no idea what these are for or how to take these and transfer them into film um I, i'm not even sure if i want to um then down here of course we have popsicles um we have a lot of ice that needs shipped away and we also have a big bag of ice here that looks like it's spilling all over the place That's, which is great um down here further what do we have a big bag of rolls. Oh, that could go good with our ground pork. We could make some pork sandwiches, some pork sliders, some more rolls, and um, buckets and buckets of chicken broth. And below that, we already have the ice, but in case we get really hot during the quarantine, we have multiple ice packs in here. Actually, that's the rest of the freezer filled with ice packs. Uh, oh, more chicken broth down there. So, so as you can see, we are set. For this quarantine and i hope that you guys are too um so if you uh if anybody needs any ground pork or some steak burgers from 2012 or some cake from 2002 you know where to come uh just make sure you stay six feet away from the front door once again hope everybody's doing well and we'll see you when it's all over